welcome to Consumer Update. I'm Kelly Lightborn. Thanks for joining us today. Well, it may or may not come as a surprise that the overall American population is getting older. Today, about one in seven Americans is over 65. Due in part to advances in healthcare, that number will increase over the next few decades. But that's a good thing. As people live longer, they also find that their needs change. Home Helpers is an organization that is dedicated to providing home care to seniors to allow them to maintain their independence with safety and dignity. Here to tell us more is Debbie Humphrey, the owner and president of Home Helpers. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks so for glad to me. have you here. You know, this is such an important topic because as we get older, obviously, we need more from people. And sometimes our families can't provide that. And that's what you do, right? Absolutely. Tell me a little bit more of the services that you provide. Well, we do anything that's non-medical that's okay. going to help somebody stay independent. And it could be housekeeping, meal preparation, they're having nutritious meals, okay. getting them to and from appointments, um, calendar management, just helping them with the day-to-day -day activities that they may incur. And I say it sounds like a, a, like a daughter or a son, like the Absol things that they abs do. Absolutely. Which is great because sometimes we're busy <laughs> um, and we need somebody to kind of give an extra helping hand. And I know probably a lot of your uh, clients, I mean, do they hire you themselves so that they don't have to bother other people? A lot of times it comes from the adult children okay. that, that are seeking our help. Mm -hmm. um, they become overwhelmed and as much as they want to help their parents, uh, sometimes they can't. They have other, li other things going on in their lives. So they get peace of mind of knowing they've hired somebody to come in and help. And then when they have the time that they're spending mm -hmm. with them, they're being the daughter or the son. It could be they're quality not, time exactly, instead of the quantity of time, exactly. which is, is great. Well, tell me a little bit about your background, because you've been in this business for a while, correct? Yes, nine years. Wow. And um, I it really enjoy what we do. Mm -hmm. I think every day, you know, at the end of the day, we've done something to help somebody every single day. We have many caregivers that have been with us um, probably five years or longer. See, and that's important because I know a lot of times, like when you're looking for somebody to provide this kind of care, I hate to say it, you don't want to just go to like Craigslist and say, hey, I need somebody to help with my parents because, you know, not only is there safety concerns, but there's, you know, there's financial issues because I'm sure you guys are around and, and I mean, are your people like licensed bonded? Tell me a little bit about that. They're licensed, bonded, insured, okay. covered under workman's compensation. Um, they're employees of Home Helpers. And um, they're, so they're all not independent contractors. No. That's there. huge yes. because a lot of companies do have independent contractors. Yes. And again, they they come in, they come out. You don't know who they are, but this sounds like they're your family. They are. We oversee them and mm -hmm. we supervise and we, we know what our caregivers are doing on a daily basis. Right. Well, tell me a little bit about, I know the holidays are coming up. So is this a, a busy time for you guys? Because I know that, you know, they want to go shopping. They want to get things for the grandkids. And it, and it is a difficult time for seniors, mm -hmm. and, and it is a busy time for us because many seniors, you know, want to be able to get out and shop and want to be able to wrap their gifts and uh, dress Christmas cards, and they mm -hmm. and they can't. They can't do it all on their own, and we come in and help with those things. Um, it could be temporary. It could be just for the Christmas season. Really? Yes. That's what I was going to ask you is, is there long-term contracts or they can come in? It's need-based, I'm assuming. Yes. There is no contract. There's no obligation. It could be a temporary setback they've had, or it could be something that's ongoing for them that, you know, we're with them a long time. Ooh, is it just for the elderly? Because I'm thinking you'd be a great babysitter. <laughs> we don't do children. Okay. But, do you, but you do do other, other people that need you. We, we do. Anybody that's recuperating from okay. an illness or injury, it could be just a, a recent surgery and they need help getting back on their feet. Okay. We can help with that. So you're really just an extra helper. You're kind of giving people an extra hand. A absolutely. What are some of the other? I know we said, you know, grocery shopping and different things, but is there anything that, um, that you guys won't do besides health care? Um, we cannot do health care, okay. so we're not licensed to do that. But we do do personal care. We can help with bathing, um, okay. incontinent care, um, just personal hygiene. We can help with all of that. Right. Well, as you said, you've been doing it nine years, so I'm assuming I, this has to be something that's near and dear to your heart. I mean, when, you, when you're hiring people, what are some of the qualities you're looking for? We're, when we do our, our hiring, I'm looking for people that I would put in my own mother's home, mm -hmm. uh, is the way I look at them, um, as well as they have the background screen and the training and the things that they need to go through. But I, I look for someone that I would feel comfortable putting with my mother. 
And that, that says a lot because that, that was the answer that I was looking for. <laughs> because, you know, there, you can't really check a box when you're, when you're dealing with, exactly. with home care people because it's not just about doing laundry. There's a personal component to it. And, you know, you need to be warm and you need, you know, that's who I would want around my family. Well, it takes a special person to be a caregiver. It has to be something that comes from the heart. It's, it's not a job. It's something that people enjoy doing. So caregivers are a special kind of people. Absolutely. Well, you can tell you're a special kind of person to be doing this for the next nine years. Um, what should, if, if we're giving advice to, um, to people, what should they look for in a home care provider? Obviously, they um, need to be checking to see if the caregivers are trained and background screened, mm -hmm. um, how long the company has been in business, um, what their billing practices are, um, it just, you know, checking out the company that, that you're looking to hire mm -hmm. and making sure that they're checking their employees. Now, how do they find out more about you? Because I know you do all that, that heavy lifting for them, which is, <laughs> which is important. Like I said, again, just hiring somebody off the street or off a of Craigslist, it's a scary thing. So really having a company that does all that, that background is a huge relief when yes. you're just trying to juggle your life and, and help your family out. So how do they find out more about you? Is there a website that they can go to to learn? Yes. They can go to our website at www.homehelpershomecare.com. Perfect. There you go. Well, thanks again for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. If you're not as healthy as you'd like and are looking for a place that can help, you won't want to miss our next segment. We'll be back after this.